So in today's video, we're here to talk about perforated. Think of this video as like a perforated 101 where we just cover the basics of perforated metal. So with perforated, you have what they call a perforation pattern. And at least at Western States Metal Roofing where we stock perforated, there's just so many different perforation panels available. What we've tried to do is pick a middle of the road pattern that even if it's not spec, you, could, you have a good chance of getting it approved by the architect. And when we talk about perforated pattern, what we're talking about is the first thing is the type of hole, which in this case is round, and then the, the diameter of the hole. So this is eighth inch round. And the next thing is the stagger, and that's the distance between the perforations, and this is 732nd inch. And then finally, that leads to the amount of open area, which in this case is 30.5%. So in order to get all these holes in the panels, what you have to do is you have to send large steel coils to a perforator. And then they'll take your coils and they'll punch the holes into the panels. You'll get the coils back and you can make panels, flat sheets, etc. Where this becomes an issue is availability. If you have a very large job that you need perforated, it's not a problem. You have enough quantity where the perforator will take your job and, and it'll get done. It, the lead time might be a little long, but it will, will not be an issue. Where you run into problems is when you have jobs under 10,000 square feet, even 20,000 square feet. The perforator either will not do the perforation because the job is too small, or the cost will be so prohibitive that you do not want to do the job. And that's where somebody like Western States Metal Roofing really can help you out because we actually inventory perforated coils ready to go. We carry coil, flat sheets, and we can do all of our exposed panels corrugated 7.2 panel or western rib and R panel. We can even do some of our concealed fastener um, metal wall panels. Uh, we have uh, quite a few finishes that we inventory and keep in stock for immediate availability. We have 20 and 24 gauge Galvalum. We have 24 gauge in a PVDF Regal White. And we have 22 gauge Corten in coil and panels, but in addition, we have flat sheet in core 10 with different perforation panels than I talked about earlier, and we're able to do that in some heavier gauges. Check our website uh, for a little more information on that. And then finally, we have a painted version of core 10 that's called core 10 AZP Raw that's available in a 24 gauge PVDF paint finish. So if you're looking at the price of a perforated versus a non-perforated, at least in something common like a 24 gauge Galvalum or a 24 gauge uh, PVDF panel, you're gonna add somewhere in the vicinity of about a dollar to $1.50 per square foot additional to the price. Some of these more specialty items might cost a little more, but again, the main thing I'm trying to get at is that assumes that we have it in stock and we've done it in large quantities for you already. Which is kind of funny because you're paying more for less material. And, and that kind of leads to another interesting point. If you were to have a non-perforated piece of corrugated metal, there'd be a load chart, there'd be engineering. Uh, you'd be able to design things accordingly. With perforated, we've taken that piece of corrugated. In, in this case, we removed 30% of the steel. And any load charts, any engineering that we had for a non-perforated panel, does not apply to perforated. So now that you know what perforated is, let's talk about the applications. And one of the main applications for perforated is you'll use it as a siding and generally like an equipment screen where you wanna hide something, but you need airflow. It's a perfect example of, of, of a good use for perforated. They'll use it quite often on big commercial structures where you gotta hide the air conditioning units. It needs airflow and you need something a lot prettier looking than a bunch of air conditioners up on a roof. Another application you'll use perforated on is when you have an outdoor shade structure. You'll, put, you'll use this as the roof and it's obviously gonna leak, but you're gonna use it in an area where leaking isn't an issue and you just simply want the shade and the airflow. It's a good application for perforated. And really the, the final application that's used a lot is aesthetics. It's just a, just a really unique product and aesthetically architects will find ways to blend it into a building. Want to learn more? Check out these videos.